I put a thick foil pin on this big wave gun and uh, a thick pin works really good with this design with all the concave in the tail and thick fins have a history uh, on big wave guns dating back to the 50s and into the 70s so uh, that's what I chose to put on this board. I started by making a thin panel with 10 layers of uh, 8 ounce bolan and amber resin. I'll be sandwiching this between two pieces of uh, redwood and uh, it'll make a one inch thick uh, thin blank. I consider this the prime cut of this beautiful quarter saw and redwood that I have. I've had it for years and I'll use those other scraps on other projects but uh, for this one it's a single piece. So I make the sandwich and then I cut it out and then um, after I tune it up uh, we have a one inch thick fin blank that um, has to be uh, tapered and foiled. When the fin gets foiled it's going to require a lot of tapering so I made this tapering jig and what it is is it's a sled that goes uh, through a surface sander and uh, does the bulk of the work with uh, really great precision so it really did work out nice. Here's another look at that sled. It's a really simple. When the fin's done, it'll be just under one inch at the base and uh, about a quarter inch, a little over a quarter inch at the tip. If the fin were made of solid glass, it'd weigh a lot more. That glass in the center of the panel uh, is nice to sand to, but also the function of it is uh, to have a place for the glass to die into when you glass it. In this case, it's not meant to look like a bead, but uh, more like a thick pin line with the, the strength advantages. And you always want to seal redwood before you glass it, because uh, it can blister. The temporary base you see here really makes life simple. Then I cut the fin off of that and I seal the base. Uh, I tack the fin of the board and when siding it's nice to pull down the cloth behind it to take all the distractions out of view. This uh, quick grip works great for breaking over the roving. I used to use a nail but it, uh, this tears it up a lot less and it's something I always have around. And getting that roving groomed really nice uh, really helps when you're getting the bubbles out and uh, shaping the fillet. Then after hot coating you sand the board and I always start with the fin uh, and get it tuned up first. Uh, back here where the concave and the bevels are, I'll start with the machine but then I uh, do a lot of hand sanding at the end. Uh, for the final touch your hands work great. So there's an 11.4 C2 gun with a thick foil fin and it's ready for resin panels and gloss and polish.